the federal corruption trial involving former city council members Katrina Brown and Reggie Brown. This morning, as Katrina Brown walked in, she had very little to say to the folks behind her cameras and reporters gathered there. The government arguing Katrina Brown and Reginald Brown misused $2.6 million in a federal small business loan from 2013 to 2015, money that was intended to go towards expanding Katrina Brown's family barbecue business. Much of the first two days highlighted with delays in court proceedings with Katrina Brown. By the way, she's representing herself. So some parliamentary procedure issues and court procedure had to be taken care of from the bench. On your side's Nick Perot back in court today and how things have been going this morning and into the afternoon now. Hello, Nick. Lou, good afternoon. Yes, we can tell you those delays with Katrina Brown continued today, even before the jury came into the courtroom. Katrina Brown concerned saying she didn't have access to an email from the city of Jacksonville that would show the grant money from the city of Jacksonville could be used for more than just equipment. District Judge at Marcia Morales Howard allowed Katrina Brown to continue to move forward. City employee on the stand, though, did not recall that email. Now, the city employee did tell us in testimony that she did have various visits, a handful of visits, to the warehouse that was bought to produce this barbecue sauce in 2014. She observed offices had, in fact, been completed. There was equipment in March of 2014, but there were no workers. Now, U.S. Assistant Attorney Tyson Duva objected several times throughout the morning to the relevance of Katrina Brown's questioning, and at times even those in the audience were a little hard to follow Katrina Brown's cross-examination of witnesses. Now, the highlights so far this morning, Lou, Vander and Gant, the government highlighting a pair of checks paid to Gant's LLC, his company, for furniture for the barbecue sauce company. Now, Gant testified this morning he never sold furniture to a company tied to Katrina Brown, despite invoices showing that he had. Now, for the second day in a row, Reggie Brown's counsel, Thomas Bell, highlighted that his client, Reggie Brown, did not have communication, either through email or phone, with the city of Jacksonville in discussion of those loans or those grants, saying that was, in fact, Katrina Brown, and that was confirmed by the city employee that was on the stand today. The communication was with Katrina Brown and not Reggie Brown. Again, day three here outside the federal courthouse. Stay with us as we bring you continuing coverage throughout the day. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.